right, so as you see, we've started getting a little bit taped up. Now, I went over the taping process in the actual uh, Fox Body video, so the Chicago Grudge Car that we did. Uh, I actually did a video in that series on how to mask up your vehicle. Get your car masked up. Uh, like I went over in that video, I'll try to remember to put that video in the description below so you can click it if you haven't seen it and you can go back and watch um, how you should be masking your car uh, up. You know, I know if you're doing it yourself in your garage that everybody kind of does it all different different ways. I mean, you might be using newspaper even though I went over another video why you shouldn't use newspaper. So you should probably go watch that video. Um, but yeah, and then we're ready to spray. So we're gonna do something pretty cool. What we're going to do is I'm actually going to go over, finally, I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but we're actually going to do a video on this car of how to actually paint, not just me painting the car or anything like that. I'm actually going to show you the very basics and I'm going to get you started on how to paint your car with single stage. So that's going to be the next video after this one. And um, definitely make sure you smash that bell button, turn on notifications so you can get notified when we drop that Let's video. Let's get straight to it. We about to spray some paint. All right, don't freak out on me now and exit out of the video and think you can't do this. You can spray this yourself at your house in your garage. If y'all need to know how to set your garage up to paint at home, drop a comment. I'll even tell you, I'll do a separate video on how you can set your garage up to um, paint at your house. I'll give you some very basic uh, tips and advice, but Tonight, what we're doing, yes, it's nighttime. I'm back pulling these 12 hour days, uh, trying to get it in, trying to get ahead in life, just like a lot of y'all are doing. Let's get this sprayed. That's what we're gonna do tonight. So we're gonna go in here. We're shooting this with single stage. We're working for the movie studios. So this is a Hollywood job. This thing's gonna be fast. It's gonna be simple. It's gonna be basic, just like your race car is probably gonna be. Um, I haven't barely cleaned this off. We scott sprayed this thing down in the other video, but that's about it. It's got trash all in it. It's got dirt all over it. Um, it's, it's, it's dirty. Single stage is thick, and so therefore single stage is gonna hide a lot of stuff. I was going to wipe the tree sap off of it. So it's got some tree sap on it, and I went to start wiping it off, as you can see, like right here. Okay, we have a thick piece of tree sap. Normally you just hit paint thinner on that, and that will dissolve and come right off. But here's what happened when I went to do it. Okay, you can see the paint come right off, tree sap is still there. I said, screw it. Actually, the tree sap now is really sticky. I don't know if you can see my fingerprinting in that. Um, but I said, screw it. I mean, dude, like it literally took the paint right off. So this is probably a spray paint or um, something really crappy. You can see where all the paint started blowing off, chipping off. Like, dude, I mean, after I pressure washed it or power washed this thing and scuffed it down, I come in here to start blowing it down with the uh, air blower and paint was just blasting off freaking everywhere, dude. So this sucks, but this is what movie work's all about. This is fast cash in your pocket. Uh, it ain't gotta be high quality. You just gotta get it done. This one, I'll keep it 100 with you. This one sucked to tape up really bad. Like this thing really sucked. Um, this was a lot of taping because of these stupid body moldings down the side of this. And then you got the bottom down there. You got every, a ton of windows. This thing has a lot of freaking windows. Um, and this roof, this is gonna suck. This is a lot of area to spray. So this is gonna flat out suck all around, but we're gonna get this thing done and you can get your project done too by using this video. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna paint this whole, or I'm gonna paint this whole car, but I'm not gonna show, I'm not gonna tell you how to paint this whole car. We're gonna make this fast and sweet and I'm gonna tell you how I do it and I'm gonna get you set up on the basics. Just okay. gonna get you off and started on the right foot Look at that, that's how dirty it is just from wiping it. But I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just give you a little scoot, I'm gonna scoot your butt and get you uh, to start rolling. Y'all can do this, man. Y'all gotta stop making excuses that you can't paint your race car. You go to the track every single weekend, the thing looks like crap, okay? You, you're fast as crap, but your car looks like crap. You can paint this yourself in your garage at home for cheap, not that much at all. You throw away this much. So. We got enough paint to spray two cars, okay? We're doing this car gloss, and then we're doing an extra car, um, like a stunt double as a uh, flat. So we're doing two of these things. Let me show you the receipt real fast on what I paid for this. Too. All right, let's bust the box out straight up. Now, I'm gonna roll that paper because this is on uh, the guy I'm working for credit card, but I'll show you what it costs. So we have two uh, different mixes right here, so you can see under units. 
that it says, okay, gallon, and then it says quart, gallon, okay? Quarts we had, let's see here. We had two of them. I don't know what the paint store's got going on. But your gallons, look at your gallons, only $140. And then for the other one, the flat, only $155. Come on, man. Y'all can afford this. We're painting two cars for $420. There's my hardener. There's my paint. There's, you know, everything we need right here besides tape and, uh, let's see here, tape and plastic. Y'all can afford this. All right, so here is our technical data sheet. I had the paint store print this. Um, if you're buying online, you can download the data sheet normally. And if you're buying from a local paint supplier, you can get them to print the data sheet. Just ask them for the data sheet. Inside your data sheet, this is going to go over your blend ratio, what we need to blend it at, pot life, okay, so how long it can stay in our mixing cup before it's trashed. Uh, it goes in reducers you can use if you want to use reducers. We are not uh, going to use a reducer. It tells you your nozzle sizes, which I just spray the same nozzle and everything. Let me keep it 100. I don't even change up whether it's clear coat, primers, clear coat, base coat, single stage, whatever. I say I spray the same nozzle on pretty much everything. I don't switch it back and forth, and I get decent results. So don't overthink it when you're starting out because now is not the time to be worrying about nozzle size and all that stuff. Go get you a $10 Harbor Freight gun, get you some single stage, and less paint. It tells you that they want two full wet coats. Flash time is five to 10 minutes between coats. Dude, we're never gonna make that five to 10 minutes. It's gonna take us longer to get over this whole car where we'll literally just be able to run this car back to back, two coats over this whole thing. Uh, dry to touch time, everything, man. Okay, allow 10 minutes to air dry before baking. You're not baking it, I'm not baking it. We don't have uh, baking booths. And if you're doing it in your garage, you're definitely not baking it. Uh, let's see here, more technical data stuff that we don't even need to get into. You know, so everything's there. Okay, our biggest thing, that the only thing I care about, and the biggest thing you should care about, is A, we're not using reducers, but you can, if you want to use reducers, you can use 10%, okay? I don't care about anything else. Don't care about all this stuff. Don't overthink it, okay? Don't care about my needle size, like I said. Um, don't care about none of that. Here's what I care about, 15 to 1. That's all I care about. 15 parts paint, one part hardener, less mix. All right, so here is our color that we are shooting. This is wild. This would look good on a lot of y'all's race car. And it's actually Halloween, so happy Halloween to everybody. You're going to see this late, but we're going to spray a freaking pumpkin tonight. Okay, so all 15 to 1 means is 15 parts paint, one part hardener. I don't care how you freaking measure it. You can use tablespoons. You can use soda bottles. You can use soda bottle caps. You can use five-gallon buckets, okay? If you take... 15 soda bottles and fill them up with paint then you're going to take one soda bottle and fill it up with hardener that's all it is it don't matter don't make it ever complicated when you come to the side of your cup i have showed you that on the side of your cup you have mixing ratios okay there's not going to be a 15 to 1 on here you're not going to get it you can divide that divide 15 and divide one dividing 15 you're going to get 7.5 there's not a 7.5 on here there's not even a 7 Divide one and it's a 0.5. Now you can split columns, okay? But we're not gonna do that tonight. You're overthinking it. You're trying to make something so basic um, complicated and it's not needed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here on this side of the mixing cup, okay? And we have whatever this means, okay? I don't, I don't even remember what this, this is and the camera's all backwards reading it. You know, we got 1400, 1500, et cetera. So we're gonna go 1500, which is gonna be right here between 1400 and 1600, of course. So we're gonna fill our paint up to 1500, approximately right here. And then guess what? We just need 1000 interval of hardener. So that means if we go 1500 here in the center, then we're gonna add our hardener to right here in the center of this measurement. That's it, it's that basic. You can even use this one over here. But if you go over here, your 15, okay, is gonna be way down here in the bottom. If you double 15 up, then you could hit 30, you know, and then you could put two parts hardener because you're doubling your ratios. But we're, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna mix this whole thing up so we have a ton to go straight into this bad boy, whole freaking tea pitcher. And we're just going to do one mix. We're going to take this in the booth, and we're not coming out that booth until this thing is done. All right, so normally I make a huge mess on this. So let's see if we can do this. And you're going to have to pour this fast at first, being this is, you know, a freaking full gallon. you got to go really fast with it, or you're going to make a mess. And I'm probably still going to make a mess. But we're going to go fast, and then we're going to start slowing down as we get to our point. So throw it in fast just like that, really fast so it don't run down the can. We're going to touch our can to the mixer. That way, if or the pot, that way if anything starts running down, it goes in there. 
Now we're going to creep up 1200, 1400, and there's about 1500. This will air dry so it doesn't have to be precise, okay? You're not you're not in science class, okay? This stuff doesn't have to be super precise or something's going to go wrong. This is just cheap old single stage. This is ALK. So your hardener is ALK 200 and your actual or 201 and your actual paint is ALK 200, okay? Pop the top. Let's throw a thousand on this. Now, if you're using a brand new paint gun, then you need to run some paint thinner, fluid, whatever, especially if you're using a Harbor Freight gun for the first time. You need to run some paint thinner or something through it just to make sure there's no assembly lube or anything in there that could contaminate your paint. I'm not too worried about that, any contaminations on this job because it's nasty single stage and I literally just bury that crap. But if you're new and you just bought a gun, run something through the gun, clean it out then assemble it just to be safe. It's better be safe than sorry. You also need to wipe your whole entire car down with wax and grease remover. If you care about the job, wipe it down with wax and grease remover. Um, I'm gonna start spraying it. I don't wanna put wax and grease remover on this job because of it being, um, I think there's spray paint on there or there's some weak paint on there. You see what the paint thinner did to it. So if you take paint thinner to your vehicle and it lifts the paint or the bumper or whatever you're painting, then, oops, then that means it has no uh, hardener to it and the paint's really soft so if I wipe that down with wax and grease remover it's going to literally blister all up and spider crack everywhere and we don't uh, want that at all so that's the only reason why I'm not wiping this down with wax and grease remover tonight is because I don't have time to deal with this crap it's going on 10 o'clock at night I'm ready to go home I want to get this money and uh, move on with my life so that's the only reason why if I start spraying this and it starts fish eyeing really bad and has contamination um, I'll just dump some fish eye remover in it to save my butt but besides that, we're just gonna rock and roll. Hopefully everything will go smooth. But if it's your if it's your job, it's your house, hit it with some wax and grease remover. Here's wax and grease remover, general purpose. There's the part number. Um, all you need to do is search uh, eBay, Amazon, your local paint supplier, whatever, for wax and grease remover, and pretty much anything's be fine. If you don't have no wax and grease remover and you're in a pinch, you can use rubbing alcohol or denatured alcohol and just wipe it down with that to make sure it's clean. If you wanna go a step farther after you wipe it down, you can run over it with a tack rag. All that is is like a sticky cloth that you literally just wipe it down with. I've went over this in previous videos. So if you haven't watched previous videos, please go, please go check out the previous videos. I go in more detail on better paint jobs. Tonight, like I said, I'm just getting you started. I'm not overwhelming you. This is just for your first project. We've got a paint and a gun. Let's carry our pitch, pitcher and our gun. Let's go in the booth and shoot it.